What's up, everybody? I've got the little one here. Hi. I don't know if you can see her. She's going to help me out today because we're doing some house chores. We want to clean up some stuff that is pretty much settled, but just want to make sure it's all wrapped up nice and neat. I'm going to show you a few things that I picked up. I don't know if you can see it over there. It just started going off. So I'm going to show you the sump pump dumping pipe which is buried in the ground and it goes across the yard to the pipe that you can see over there that's dumping into the drainage. It was set up before in a, in a pipe, I think, you know, I feel like it was still buried, but it just went over to the end of the swell over there and then it, above ground, the water just sat in the swell and drained. Wasn't very effective. It made that whole area even even now when it's even now when it storms pretty good it still gets soggy and most of that's from the neighbor's yard um, as it dumps out but at least as much as I can control I want to just make the yard as dry as possible and just dump so that's what we're doing I wanted to plug up the hole and I'll show you what I'm talking about right now but I'm gonna show you what I got and then you'll understand why I want to cover the hole Initially I had this, I cut it up a bunch. You can see I've melted some, cut it down to size. It just wasn't very effective. There's some of the cut pieces. So I decided to pick up these and unfortunately I didn't measure before I went over there. I don't know the diameter of the pipe that I'm connecting to um, and then into the pipe in the ground. So we'll try that. We might need to use this bad boy. Inside the house I've got the pipe from the sump pump. I need to have an anchor bracket. And again, I couldn't remember exactly the diameter. In case I don't use either of these, I've got this, which you can see it's a hanger strap. I can use that. I assume that I'm gonna to need to fasten it into the wall. So let's go over there, check it out, see what size we need. I'll probably end up fastening the pipe into the wall first just to make sure, but I wanna see if these fit. So let's go. Okay, so what I picked up were these two pieces. It's one and a half, I believe. So it's one and a half by four inch, one and a half up here, down to four inch down here, and then the two inch to the four inch. And I wasn't sure exactly how big this elbow joint was, but I'm thinking the two inch to the four inch is going to work. So what we've got is we've got the elbow joint from the sump pump coming out of the house into this four inch pipe that's getting buried, as I talked about, into the yard here. So what I'm gonna to try to do is, hopefully it doesn't start going off when I try to put this in. There you go. So you can see that the water from the sump pump is draining into this pipe. Now that it's already started, I'm just going to wait for it to stop a little bit. Push it back into the house, fit the four inch piece in, and as you can tell there's a little bit of a gap, but that's not a big deal because what I can do is I can raise up this coupler here, and what I'll do is I'll get my screwdriver and tighten it off. You can't necessarily see it in the video, but this pipe that's in the ground does still go up into this adapter and it will fit. Okay, so I got my screwdriver. I'm gonna raise this up and tighten it down and hopefully I don't need to put any shims in there. Okay, so I've got it tightened down. I'm not sure I need to wrap it with anything. Maybe I will, I'm not really sure. It seems tight, but we're gonna wait a little bit and see if it leaks once the water starts being drained out. Well, there you see it. It doesn't look like it leaked at all. I still might put some sort of pipe wrap on there, something. I can hear it gushing down at the end. Let's walk over there. I'll show you where it dumps out. Okay, you can't really see it too well. The grass pretty much grew back pretty well. Still might need to do some work, but it comes along here, underneath here, and you can kind of see where it was cut. You can see a little bit. Let's go down there. So it looks like part of the dirt's eroded where it hasn't been buried too deep here, but there's not much we can do about it based on elevation. You can see it dumps into this. This pipe is my neighbor's, running along the fence. At some point I do need to figure out this cable. I'm probably gonna bring it all the way up because I don't want them cutting it with the lawnmower. So we're doing pretty good. 
Let's go inside and fasten the pipe for the sump pump into the wall. Okay, everybody, so we've got everything strapped up outside. Next is to go downstairs. I've got the tools that I'm going to use. I decided instead of going through the garage looking for washers, we took a box, an electrical box that we're using upstairs for her bathroom's light switch, and they have the these little plugs that you punch out. I'm taking two of these, drilling some holes in them, and we're gonna use these as washers on the strap downstairs. I've already locked in one of these into some vice grips, which is not necessarily the smartest or safest, but I'm gonna try, attempt to drill the holes through, see in a second, see if it works. All right, so there's the bit. Here's one of the holes. You can see not super pretty, it's not direct center, but it works. Let me drill the other one, and we'll go downstairs. Great, now I've got two washers. We'll use these anchors and figure out which one of these clamps we need to use. We've either got the two inch or the one and a half inch. If neither one of these works, I guess we'll have to use the hanger strap. We might need the lightsaber along the way, so let's check it out. Okay, so I'm standing right in front of the sump pump closet. About a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I don't know, I replaced the sump pump, the motor burned out, and I installed a check valve. There wasn't one here previously, which made a lot of issues as far as the motor going off. So that's down below. The pipe running along the wall, which we just fixed outside, I'm gonna attach this bracket to a little higher up and hopefully keep it from moving around. Maybe I might need to attach a couple brackets, but this should be good. I've got these, uh, I don't know what this is called on the, on the end here, um, a butterfly molly? I'm not really sure, I don't really know a whole lot about this stuff, but I figured this would give me a more secure, uh, I guess, holding or fix to the backside of the drywall than anything else like a regular molly. So I'm gonna drill the holes, it's a 3 8 inch hole that I'll be drilling. I'm gonna drill them real quick and I'll put these in. In order to attach these, these that bottom triangular whatever shaped part, you had to take it off and put the, put the nut through and then put it back on. As you can see, I got my homemade washers on there doing their job pretty good. So let me drill the holes. I'll show you what I'm doing. Oops, that fell off. And uh, we'll keep going. Okay, so you can see I, I, if it'll focus, I drilled the holes there. What I ended up having to do was taking this whole thing apart, hold the bracket up and drill through the holes on the bracket. I did bend this bracket just a wee bit, just to make it a little tighter. I wanted to get the holes a little closer. What you'll want to do when you put these through is that you'll have to bend the bottom parts here so they're flush with the bolt. You'll also want to make sure, if you can, hear them clip back into place basically by snapping open. So I'm going to try to do that right now, and then we'll tighten this thing up. Okay, so what I want to point out is obviously you can see these holes are way bigger than the previous holes. And I don't even know what I was thinking. Just kind of silly to not measure this, but they do need to be a lot bigger. The good news is that once they go through, it'll cover that big wide span right there, and then it'll be covered up by this metal piece here. If we could focus, there we go. What I'm going to do is prep this, get this in, and hopefully we'll hear it kind of snap back open once they go through the hole. Okay, so I'm going to push it in. Let's listen carefully. Hopefully we can hear it. I don't know if we can, but you'll be able to tell if you try to pull it back out. Okay, I didn't really hear anything. Confident it's in because well, that didn't open up all the way. Hold on. Okay, so what what my my flaw there was, I didn't thread it through far enough because the whole thing twisted. When it goes through far enough, it can't twist. So, pretty much locked in. I'm just gonna screw that in tighter and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I tightened it up. I got my man-made washers, my homemade washers, I should say. Now, I probably could have used the one and a half inch pipe here, but I really wanted to do the two inch because sometimes you want a little flexibility on the line here. I'm assuming that outside, just in case it gets bumped, it won't really rip, but as you can see, that's really nice and tight in there. 
I know this video is kind of a more boring house chore, not so much fun video, and I'm definitely, absolutely not an expert in any way, shape, or form. It's always fun to fix something yourself. I just put some stuff on the outside, and then this is the inside of it, and um, I don't know, it just feels nice to actually uh, get something cool done. So, got a lot of stuff going on still down here. As you can see, I have this sofa that's just old and worn out. Brought it downstairs, I bought it used. It was a nice shape, but you know how kids are, they uh, can stain some stuff up. The plastic up there to protect the kiddos uh, toys moved my wood roll top desk down here got my tv my spare tv Hi. Oh, <laughs> so like i said a lot of remodel a lot of stuff going around just a lot of stuff to put away got some crates for things to put some stuff in so uh no bugs or anything get inside and ruin it and um, just keeping plugging along with the remodel. So thanks for checking out this particular video. I'm probably gonna have some stuff in the very near future updating some of the remodel situation, putting things away, making it look nice. I'll show you the final touches. You've got one more, well actually two more videos. We've got one video that we're gonna do, probably do one on her channel, it's Ancestry DNA. If you wanna see that, keep uh, your eyes peeled for that to release. Maybe we'll do that today. I've also got 29 Amazon dash buttons that I've got that I want to hook up and do an open box review on. Then I'll probably do a follow up at some point on my impression of those. It just depends on each item and how frequent I have to order them. So we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you do have a comment of something you've done, feel free to leave it down below. If you liked the video, it helped me out if you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.